Hayshawn Booty. Boote? Boote? Booty? I'm not quite sure what it is because it's not his last name anymore, but more so of his lifestyle as it appears that Hayshawn has got himself in a little bit of too much booty. Hey guys, welcome back to High Top Sports. I'm your host this evening, Shelton Walker. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn the bell on. We're on the road to 10,000 subs, so it mean a lot if you can help us get there. Without further ado, dive right into it. All right, boys and girls, news drop on New Year's Day 2023 because my goodness, it's just, let's get it started. It's the new year. No need to waste any time. This hit the Twitter sphere like a hot piece of pancake and a hot piece of booty. As Kayshawn would like to grab himself into. Not on the public sphere yet. Apparently, there was a sex party in Atlanta during the SEC stay, and the participants got caught. At least five have been identified. The first being Kayshawn Booty, second being Destiny Wilson, on-campus recruiting coordinator Cortez Hankton, and wide receiver coach, uh, and then J.R. Belton, director of recruiting, and Corey Phillips, associate director of player personnel. Booty was dismissed. Wilson, the lone female of this affair, resigned on December 8th. She has a history of this sort of behavior, and we failed to catch it in due diligence. Hankton, the highest paid receiver coach in the country, will be terminated effectively after the bowl game, and the fate of Belton, the reputable instigator, and Phillips are not known yet, but both are almost certainly gone. Um, I think we can do the math there. Uh, one female, others all being the gentleman. <coughs> all aboard! Now, what makes all this interesting and possibly more true than it is not? Because as we all know, Kayshawn Booty announced a few weeks ago that he'd be staying at LSU and letting the show go on. And then abruptly, out of nowhere, he goes, nope, peace, I'm out, I'm headed to the NFL. Nobody really bad at eyes, kind of is what it is. But now it seems there could be, and it looks like there is a reason why this is happening. Ryan Kelly was asked about Kayshawn Booty and his unavailability before declaring for the draft. Kelly said he was listed that way because he cannot speak further on it. Is Brian Kelly involved with this? It just Is it just kind of some dirty kind of scandal going on? I'm not quite sure. And it doesn't end there. We decided to look a little bit further, the High Top Sports crew and company on our Discord channel. We've got some guys on there that just never sleep. They're always grinding, trying to figure out the dirt and what's really going on here. And we started to do some ABC comparison, a little bit of a science project, as one, as one would say. And here's what we found. It appears that on-campus recruiting coordinators have something in common. I'm going to show you a slew of them here, and I want you guys to kind of, you know, put your brains together and tell me what you guys are all seeing and noticing here, okay? <laughs> What do you mean by that? Now, I'm not saying what I'm saying and what you think that I'm saying, but I'm not saying that I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it just kind of looks like it could be something, okay? Now, now it could just be a coincidence. Could be just a quinky dink, but I don't know. You guys let me know. We will be on top of this. It's going to be interesting to see what happens after the bowl game. I could imagine LSU is trying to keep this thing under wraps as much as possible because if these guys are going to be released after the bowl game, I'd imagine all hell will break loose once that were to happen. So make sure you guys like, subscribe. We will be keeping our tabs on it as closely as possible. We're going to keep our thumb straight to the pulse of this bad boy so we can get, let you guys know what happens as soon as we find out what happens. So again, subscribe, turn the bell on. See you guys in the next one. Peace.